I'm going to go back and review an old reaction. Hydration of an alkene. So, um, if we took this compound, we treated it with sulfuric acid and water, we'd form H3O+, plus. the H3O+, plus would protonate the alkene, make a carbocation, cation, and the carbocation cation would be on this carbon, the more highly substituted position, then water would attack, we'd lose a proton, and we would get this alcohol out. We've done an addition of water, and we call this a, a Markovnikov addition. The Markovnikov addition typically goes through a carbocation intermediate, and we want to go through the, mo the more stable carbocation if we have a choice, and so we get this substitution for the alcohol. The alcohol does not end up on that carbon. Okay, great. So now let's look and see how this applies to alkynes, not alkenes. So I'm going to draw a generic alkyne, and we're going to subject it to nearly the same reaction conditions. We're going to treat it with water. We're going to treat it with sulfuric acid. And we're going to treat it with mercury sulfate. And the mercury is in there. It's necessary. It turns out the alkyne doesn't react quite as readily as the alkene, and mercury helps that process. And what we get is actually very similar. We get an addition of water. Furthermore, the oxygen of that water attacked at the more highly substituted end of the alkyne. And so this is a, a form of regioselectivity. It's kind of like the Markovnikov addition to a regular alkene. Now what's different is, is we're not done with this reaction yet. What we have formed is an enol tautomer. And enol tautomers are not the more sta most stable form that we can draw. This is actually going to continue to, um, to rearrange, to undergo a tautomerization. And this is going to tautomerize to the keto form. The keto tautomer. So, what have we done? Well, nothing changes here. Here we've added water. going from the alkyne to the enol tautomer. And as it turns out, we haven't changed anything about the keto tautomer. We still net added water. We added an oxygen and two hydrogens. So it's still an addition of water. It's just that we don't get an alcohol. We get a ketone. So when you do a hydration of an alkyne, you form a ketone, and the new oxygen in the molecule is attached to the more what was the more highly substituted side of the alkene, alkyne. So this shows a regioselectivity where the oxygen attaches the more highly substituted carbon, and it's very analogous to the Markovnikov addition of water under acidic conditions to an alkene.